I just feel like I'm doing so much media wise like it's kind of to the point where it's consuming my every thought of every day like I don't I, I don't think that I know how to time manage like well like what I personally want to do which is media but it's like it's so complex and like my media focus is not entirely specific because it didn't start out entirely specific so it's hard to narrow down and just focus on one genre so that's why I have a production company that I started and you know wasn't able to fully um oversee the um the foundation of the company that's why I have like two YouTube channels and I haven't posted on any of them in a year that's why you know currently my social media engagement is low um that's why like I'm in finals trying to write a 15 page script and haven't been able to even start on anything because I'm consumed by everything else I'm doing media related whether it was just finishing my film whether it was um, vlogging every day so I could get content out for you guys because it's something that I had like a urge to do. Don't know why. It's starting a page of my script and barely even writing anything because I don't, you know, like it's so, like that's media too. Like the start of a script is the start of the foundation of a film to the start of a foundation of a tv series everything that you watch has been calculated and you know formulated like it had it started somewhere the concept somebody came up with a concept for it somebody came up with a script for it every netflix series that you ever watch every tv show love and hip-hop um orange is the new black everything that you see on television and in media, if it's a show, it's a, if it's a movie, a commercial, they all have scripts. They all have things that are written. They have concepts. So it's like, that's also a part of media or a stage of media, a stage of film, a stage of production. Like, I eat, sleep, and breathe literally media and production and i don't know like i i'm having a meltdown just because it's like where do you get to the point in life where you feel like or like why do you get to the point in life where you feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be called to do or you're doing what you want to do and you're doing something that you know that if you could live a career off of this the rest of your life doing something that you want to do you will be happy or something that you're pursuing now you will be happy and while you're doing it and you're producing the content and you're you know you're editing films you're churning out scripts you're churning out short films you're in film school your internship is media related uh in your free time you're posting on youtube trying to make vlogmas videos for your subscribers all 128 of them on my main channel you're on twitter tweeting about your vlogmas and tweeting about your films and your everyday journey and trying to be transparent and like doing everything literally eating sleeping breathing film and it's just not you don't hear anything you don't feel I don't know I wouldn't say you don't feel anything because when I produce work I do feel emotions about it I do feel you know happiness I do feel um you know proud I do feel you know like I succeeded in some elements of something when I produce work it's just like how do you get to the point where you're doing like seven different media related things either in a day or in your career pursuit and you don't hear anything no feedback 
no um appraisal no um I don't know you just feel empty you know in a sense because it's just like you're producing and producing and producing and producing or you produce something and you stop producing something and then you come back to it and you're producing and you're producing work and content and work and content and you're not reaping the benefits of what you're producing you're not hearing anything personally like inside that's telling you okay well so and so you're doing a good job of what you're doing like and it's been going on for years like how do you get to the point like whoa like how do you get to the point that you could be doing something for years or trying to do something for years and you're still at the beginning stages and nothing has come to fruition personally um your outreach you don't reach like i'm like i'm not reaching anybody with what i do like yeah it looks good like yeah y'all see me up here doing vlogmas and y'all see me up here vlogging and y'all see me doing film and posting it y'all see me on instagram posting about scripts that i write and y'all see me posting this cast and call flyers and stuff like promoting things that i'm getting ready to do or have already done um promoting friends that i work with on set for things or like anything media related and it's just like so what you know what i'm saying because it's like nothing like what's the what's the fruit of the labor like you sow in the seeds there's no fruit like even when you don't expect it to be fruit that's the that's the crazy thing like you don't expect there to be any fruit to your labor at this moment At least you don't expect it to be as much as it will be at some time and point. So it's just like nothing. Like there's no no productivity to the production. There's no, um, what do you call it? Like end result from what I'm doing with this, obviously. I have followers, they just sit and watch. Over 200 people watch my story a day, and that's pretty low because I have over 3,000 followers on Instagram. But it's like, what? People just want to be nosy. They don't really care what you're doing with life. Yeah, you could be promoting other people, and you could be, you know, like, well-wishing other people, but they don't. What does that mean? It doesn't mean that you're, you're supposed to do it for other people. You're supposed to live your passions and want to pursue your passions for yourself. But it becomes harder at the end of the day when you're pursuing your passions and you're not hearing or seeing any any type of result. And it's been going on for years. So... That's just at the point where I'm at in life with it. Like, I was having a good day. Everything was cool. Went to my internship, came back. Edited my video, posted it. Opened my script software. Um, started, I at least started something on the script that I had to turn in for my script writing course. And then... I started looking at all my Instagram posts and I'm just like, why am I, what am I posting for? Like, what's the, I do vlogmas, but for what? For myself? I'm tired of talking to myself. The whole main thing, the whole main reason why I'm doing this is to be a voice for somebody else. Like, to help somebody through what they trying to get through. If they want to be in media if they want to do film like i'm trying to like show people what it means to be a black filmmaker like a black woman filmmaker and granted like i'm not doing as much as some other people out there but i have made the first step i have made the first couple of steps to towards a career that i'm pursuing actively and it's just like why am I really doing this, you know? 
if it's not helping my community, if it's not helping myself personally, if people are seeing what I'm doing and they're not moved by it or not commenting or not, you know, art is supposed to influence, art is supposed to motivate, art is supposed to um, heal, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to, it's not what it's doing now, obviously, as we can see through media and arts and music and et cetera. It's more foolishness nowadays than ever, but it, it's supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed, somebody's supposed to look at art and be like, or look at somebody who creates art and is like, dang, like, what's going on in my brain? A flip just, a switch just flipped. And I'm like thinking about different stuff. I'm like, oh, that right there, that what that person said, I, that resonated with me. Or... What that person did, that makes me want to go out and do something. I'm not doing that. I'm not reaching. I'm not reaching anybody with my art. And it's it that's the worst thing that can happen as an artist. Is for one, you're not reaching yourself with your art. And two, the most devastating out of all is that you're not reaching or touching somebody else with your art. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. When you think about it, huh? I mean, it happens, though, you know? But it's like, damn, what am I really doing, you know?